All right. So for my reflection one, I decided to watch the documentary King Corn. And I have decided to, for my reflection, come to the grocery store and kind of browse through um, all the products that I wouldn't consider to have um, high fructose corn syrup and see, you know, the products that I would assume, products I wouldn't assume, and, you know, just kind of like shockers here and there just to get a real idea of just how much or how much of our food contains corn because after watching the documentary I was I knew that high fructose corn syrup has become a big deal in this country um, especially with sweeteners and stuff like that but it kind of opened my eyes to the possibility of foods that I wouldn't normally consider having high fructose corn syrup so all right so with that being said um why don't you follow me into kroger and we will go shopping for some goodies currently in the chip aisle um kind of expected this um this outcome to see of course corn in these products um i have with me here um doritos and some Lay's barbecue chips. Um, looking at the ingredients, um, first ingredient in Doritos is corn, immediately, right off the bat. And then we have um, corn oil, as well as, um, it was here somewhere, uh, maltodextrin made from corn. So you can see here the first two or three ingredients is predominantly corn in the chips here. Moving on to the potato chips, we see potatoes, of course, is gonna be your first ingredient, but after vegetable oil, we have corn. We have corn and um, as well as the Doritos, the maltodextrin, which is made from corn. So overall, both way more ingredients than I thought they would both have and some interesting ones at that too so like caramel color you know um i think one over here was like skim milk just very interesting ingredients that i would never have thought to look at beforehand right here i've moved on to the granola and protein bar aisle and um per my assumption a lot of these granola bars contain some form of corn whether it be corn syrup high fructose corn syrup um, corn starch um, any of the above honestly um, i typically stay away from these granola bars that are quote unquote healthy for you um, because of the sugar content in itself is just ridiculous but you can see um, there's a kernel oil there is corn oil. There is corn starch. And corn syrup is your first, I mean, second ingredient. So you can see here, even in ingredients that are predominantly just that are predominantly just grains, you would assume, with some flavorings of like peanut butter, stuff like that, chocolate, um, still contain corn in some form. Um, I will say this product surprised me the most, considering this is supposed to be whole grain oats predominantly. You find cornstarch to be the second ingredient. And then the third ingredient is sugar. Now I knew that it was like okay in sugar, not the best, not the worst. There's only two grams of it, but considering that's the third ingredient, it's kind of that's something else that kind of caught my attention because it is supposed to be like a healthier option for cereal considering it's um, fortified with lots of B vitamins and other minerals and stuff like that. So to see that, you know, the second ingredient comes from a grain that you wouldn't even expect it to have is uh, definitely interesting. And then to no surprise here, every cookie that I have seen or come across or any candy that I have come across has 
high fructose corn syrup as listed right towards the bottom but it's there um i kind of expected this considering a lot of these are sweetened um, and cornstarch or high fructose corn syrup i mean sorry is the cheapest form of sweetening these you know sugary uh kind of sweet snacks 